Fortnite gives players a sense of freedom unlike many other third-person shooters or even battle royale games. You have the ability to build, which in a lot of ways almost makes it feel like you're playing some sort of sandbox game mode with the amount of creative freedom that you have to play differently. So when it comes to new game modes, features, and things that get added into Fortnite, we here at Top 5 Gaming do not mess around, which is why, hi, I'm Sam from Not Top 5 Gaming, and I like to mess around. The next feature to be added to Fortnite will be the meatiest one yet. Get him! Get him! Get him! We're gonna get payback for what he did to our friends! Like that me, these leaks are are pretty juicy, extremely tender, and cooked to perfection at approximately 450 degrees Fahrenheit at medium rare. Okay, I don't think least can be cooked, but here are five features that may be coming into Fortnite in season four, the new season. If it's season four when you're watching this, build the time machine, come back, and click the subscribe button. It seems to me that as far as I'm concerned, you have no good reason not to subscribe. Firstly, you'll instantly gain the innate ability to find loot llamas in Fortnite. It's kind of like spidey senses, but llama senses, so you'll never have to farm for mats again. And secondly, I actually, I don't have another reason. Onto the list! Number five, new LTM game mode, Take to the Skies. If you don't know what a limited time game mode is in Fortnite Battle Royale, then boy, have you been missing out. Just when you think you might be starting to get bored of the standard Fortnite Battle Royale action, Epic Games releases an awesome new LTM with brand new rule sets to spice things up a bit. LTMs have covered a whole bunch of different rule sets, ranging from the massive 50v50 Battle Royale Wars to modes where you can only play with explosives. It's a great way to make things interesting again, and there's no reason to think that Epic would suddenly stop doing the whole LTM thing just because we're going into the next season. LTM's getting taken in and out of cycles, and one of the modes leaked to be coming in Season 4 is known as Take to the Skies. By the sound of it, this LTM would probably increase jetpack drops and would heavily involve jetpack combat over everything else. Maybe everyone spawns in with a jetpack that has unlimited fuel or something, allowing you to just fly across the entire map for as long as you want. It sounds crazy, but if you told me that we would be fighting against teams of 50 people against each other when Fortnite Battle Royale first launched, I would have called you crazy then too. However, there's one small issue with the Take to the Skies mode. Jetpacks aren't even in the game yet, so I guess we're going to have to wait and see. Which is why, in Season 4, we will probably also be seeing the long-awaited addition of jetpacks into Fortnite Battle Royale. The jetpack was originally supposed to be launched way back in the early days of March, but was instead swapped out for the hunting rifle. The item was delayed because of what Epic Games initially described as a design issue with the jetpack that needed to be corrected, and I guess it must have been a pretty bad design issue because the thing still hasn't lifted off the ground quite yet. According to people who have data mined into the files of the game, the jetpack is expected to use fuel and will need to be refueled if you want to keep using it over the course of the game. The files also suggest that there might be a hover mode, which could do something like make the jetpack use less fuel as it keeps you at one stable height. The same data miner also said that the jetpack might only ever be found in the Take to the Skies limited time mode, meaning you wouldn't be able to use it in every game you go into. While that would suck pretty hard, I don't really want to imagine a version of Fortnite where an entire fort could always just be scaled by using a jetpack, so that might actually be the best move for the item when it eventually comes out next season. Number three, rideable slash usable shopping carts. Sometimes we don't notice things that have been placed right down in front of us, so don't feel bad if you didn't notice all the shopping carts suddenly appear out of nowhere when Season 3 first began. They've been spread across points of interest all over the map, but it was the shopping cart race track on the eastern side of the map that really got people thinking. Perhaps this was a hint that we would be able to use shopping carts as some sort of vehicle in the future. Of course, the addition of shopping carts alone, even with the racetrack, wouldn't be enough to make people actually think of usable vehicles, but that's where a bunch of more data mine leaks come in. In the files, there's a drivable vehicles folder in the Athena directory, which is where all the Battle Royale files are kept. Within the folder is the very same shopping cart model, with some pretty interesting animations associated with it. Animations that suggest you can push the carts along to gain speed and even hop inside the car to ride it. In the past, Epic have always been adamant that vehicles are not a planned addition to the game unless they had some sort of funny or unique functional quirk to go with them. Well, you have to admit that riding around on a shopping cart in Fortnite sounds like a pretty good idea, and it could even be functional by allowing people to store a couple of extra items inside it. To be honest, probably the perfect and, and the most hilarious way to change up the game as we move into Season 4. Number 2, Exploding Crossbow. The sticky grenade for Fortnite Battle Royale has only just been revealed, and it got me thinking, what could possibly be better than an exploding grenade that can stick to people and objects? Why not a crossbow with an explosive stuck on the end of it? I guess Epic Games thought the same because the explosive crossbow has been found in the game files. Whenever I imagine the explosive crossbow in Fortnite, I imagine it working pretty much the same as the explosive crossbow in Call of Duty Black Ops. You fire a bolt, it sticks to something, 
and then after a couple of seconds, it explodes. Basically, it's a sticky grenade that you can fire over really long distances. And considering how weak the crossbow is at the moment, I mean, I wouldn't use the thing even if it was the last weapon on Earth. Probably needs a bit of an upgrade, so sticking explosive tips onto the end of the arrow seems like the perfect fix. Saying that, an exploding crossbow with unlimited ammo like the current crossbow would probably be pretty overpowered. So here's hoping Epic Games makes it use up rockets or something like that when you fire it. Number one, the floor is lava game mode. If you didn't play The Floor is Lava as a kid, then like, were you even really a kid, first of all? Basically, The Floor is Lava is a game that kids play where you pretend that everything on the floor is lava and if you touch it, you die. Usually, you have to make it from one area to another, but you're not allowed to touch the floor once. In Fortnite Battle Royale, I imagine that the premise of The Floor is Lava limited time mode would be pretty much the same. You'd probably only be allowed to stand on buildings or stuff that you've built yourself, and if you touch the ground, then you take some damage. Similar as if you were in the storm, this would probably be one of those modes where all the resources in the game give you a little bit more than usual. So like, if you cut down a tree, you might get double or triple the amount of materials you would usually, just so you can keep building to get around. I mean, this game mode sounds pretty awesome to me, and it feels like it would be based more around trying to destroy someone's building than actually killing them, since it would make them drop straight into the lava. It's a pretty cool way to shake up how you play in Fortnite, and I kind of can't wait to actually play it, but... That's about it for the video. I hope you guys have enjoyed our list of the top five leaked features that may be coming to Fortnite Season 4. Click that subscribe button if you have not already. Drop a like down below if you've enjoyed the video. Let's see how many likes we can get on this video. Smash that button and comment down below some features that you'd like to see in the upcoming Season 4. Other than that, I hope you guys have a great day. Don't forget to keep it here on Top 5 Gaming.